guys, Andy here, and today we have our March update for our Beauty A to Z project pan. If you would like to see all of my progress on the products that I do have in this project, then just stay tuned. I do appreciate you guys bearing with me as these updates this month are a little later than normal since I've been sick and I fell today, so that was fun, but we are getting them out. So if you want to know more about this project and see my update, then let's just go ahead and get into it. And if you like makeup unboxings with a little bit of horror sprinkled in, then please consider subscribing as I would love to have you here. And let's just get into this long awaited update. <music> Right. So if you don't know anything about this project, this is a Pantastic Ladies collab and it's where you have every letter of the alphabet and you pick a makeup product that starts with that letter. I will have all the pertinent information in the description box as well as everything that is on my face as per usual. I used my pan that palette and I hit another pan and I'm so excited. It seems like every time literally at as soon as I film an update, the next time I use the palette, I hit a pan. So that's been fun. But that's neither here nor there. We're just going to start with letter A and work our way all the way down to letter Z. So for letter A, I have my Aesthetica Loose Setting Powder here. And uh, let's see. Where did I mark it? I'm trying to get it to... Because my goal on this was to finish it. So this is where it was marked when we started. I've had to dump powder into the cap twice since the beginning. So we're working on it. I don't love this powder and it's a huge powder. So I would not repurchase it, but it's on my face today. It works fine. It's just, it's not a favorite. Most of my goals for this project are 23 uses because I just didn't want a finished goal on everything for me personally. But that powder is a finished goal because I just, I want to use it up. For B, we finished that. That was in last month's update. For letter C, we have my Conceal and Glow Foundation from Makeup Revolution in the shade F2. It's what is on my face today. This was my first use because I was finishing up some other foundations, but I used this for the first time today. This does have a 23 use goal because this is a brand new foundation. I love it. I have gone through a whole bottle of the Conceal and Hydrate foundation from Makeup Revolution and absolutely adored it. So I wanted to try this one and I gotta say, I am loving how my skin looks. So I'm super happy with this. I don't think it'll be a problem to hit my 23 uses. So that is letter C. We had to hit our one use, our first use. For letter D, we have a single shadow here. This is the Desert Sunset Pigment from Naked Cosmetics. This is a 23 use goal. I have now used this twice. So <sighs> we're, you know, slow and steady. Once we get further in, I've, I've been doing good. My e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter, this is on my face today. I have now used this eight times out of my 23, so we are getting there. My Fenty Beauty Match Stick, this has a finish goal, and I do use this every time I do my makeup. That is now all that is left. I think... Not April's update, but May's update is when I'm thinking this will be done. But I love this. I went through a whole mini, which is why I purchased the full size, and I think it's gorgeous. I have it in the shade Amber, which is a perfect contour shade for me, and I just, I love it so much. So that is a finish goal, just because I have so little left of it. So for G, we have... The Prettiest for Your Face Lustrous Dust in the shade Ghastly. I have now used this five times out of my 23 uses, and I love this so much. I love loose pigments. You can use this as a highlight. I've mostly used this as an inner corner shade, but it is just beautiful. It's like a lavender with some green in it. It's just, it is beautiful. If you have not checked out Pretties for Your Face, I highly recommend you do because they are wonderful. And they're doing a sale 
right now because I think I'm going to post this today. So there's a sale through this weekend. So if you use my code, the Sandburglar, all of that's in the description box. But if you use my code through this weekend, you'll save an extra 10% on the already 50% off eyeshadows. So, shameless plug. My J-Cat Liquid Highlighter, I have used six times. So, I've used the e.l.f. a little bit more. I think I, I like the color of this one more, but I like the consistency, and I like that, that one's a pot of the e.l.f. better. I hate the pipette on this. So, but... Still chugging along on that one, too. My Ice Breaker Eyeliner from ColourPop, I have used three times of my 23 uses. I, originally, I was rolling this all the way up, but it almost broke the last time, so we are not doing that. But I've actually, normally I hate mint colored things, but I've been liking this eyeliner, so that's been super fun. For Jay, we have my J-Cat... Mood Flick Balm in the shade Mood Swings. This is what it looks like here. I have used this five times. This I've been finding a little tricky to use because it is a lip balm and it feels amazing on the lips, but it has so much pigment and shimmer that like I don't want to wear it as just a lip balm, but it doesn't seem to pair well with a lot of makeup looks either. So I don't know. It's just, it's this shade. Like the formula of this is fantastic, but I just don't know how this is going to fare in my collection once I get my 23 uses. Next for K, we have my Sun Kissed, because K kissed, Glow. This is the Cream Cheek Palette from Milani. I've used this a total of five times between the three shades. I was just, I've been using other cheek things, but I'm excited to get back into using that because I did, I have really enjoyed it. Let's see. My empty. I finished my Morphe and J-Star gloss in the shade Living For It. I finished this on February 15th. I did go ahead and take a spatula and scrape out everything that I could. Got it all off. I don't know how many uses it took me, but I love this gloss. It was a super pink sparkly one, and it was really nice, but I'm super excited to have one of these empty. I've never emptied a lip gloss in my entire, like, life, so this is super exciting. So we have our first empty down. For M, the Milani Setting Spray we emptied. That was in last month's update. For N, my Natasha Denona Love Cheek Duo. I have used this a total of five times, and I have this on my cheeks today. This is a 23-use goal. Oh, my Ofra Highlight in the shade Glazed Donut. I have used this six times out of 23. My Profusion Sunlit Glitter which looks like this. I've used this three out of 23 uses. Get things back in here. Let's see. Q, my Queen Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Electric. I have used this three out of 23 uses. I love this lip gloss. I was focusing on this one. So now that this one is gone, I can focus on that lip gloss. For R, I have my NYX Sweet Cheeks Match Rose and Play Blush. I have used this 10 times, and this is also on my cheeks today. Love it. That's 10 out of 23 uses. For S, my Shiseido Foundation. This is a finish goal, and there was... So if you can see here, there's windowing up here. So I don't know. It looks like there's windowing right here. But I've used this a few times. I love this foundation. It still feels pretty full. I probably have. I don't know if I'll be able to finish that by the end of the year, but we shall see. It's my oldest foundation, and the SPF in it's been long expired, and it just... 
I think by the end of the year, regardless, I should probably declutter it, but I've been using it and I love it. For tea, we have my The Balm Highlight in the shade Electric. I've used this 10 out of my 23 uses. Okay, my Uoma Primer. I have used this once. <laughs> So it is still super full. I was finishing up some mini primers. So now that I am pretty much done with those, I can actually open this and use this. But I do like it. But that is a finish goal. So I really need to get on that. For V, my Viseart Bronzer in the shade Bronze Noi. I've used this 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 out of my 23 uses. It's what's on my face. I love this bronzer. Let's see, my Wet n Wild blush in Let's Get Smashed. I have used this four times out of my 23 uses. It smells like pumpkin spice and it smells so yummy. My e.l.f. Galaxy liquid shadow for the letter X. The X was such a hard letter to find something. So it, it was a stretch and I know, but... This I've used twice out of my 23 uses. For Y, my SMB Beauty Yellow Brick Road Combo, I have used this once out of my 23 uses. I just haven't been wearing yellow a lot lately, but that's going to be changing soon. And then H, not H, Z, <laughs> Jesus, is my Hemp's lotion which there's a giant air bubble but I've used a good amount of this so I'm hoping this will be done oh, I wish yeah so with the light there's product only to here so I'm hoping I can get this as an empty for next month's update because I've been really working on this lotion but that is an empty goal. But this is probably the highlight of this video. Is I'm so happy that I finally finished this. And I'm thinking we might have some, not rollouts, because like once I finish some of these goals, like they'll be done. But I'm excited. I think I'm going to hit some goals for next month's update. And I'm, I'm trucking along with this project and I'm really happy about it. If you are also doing this project, let me know down below. How are you doing? Are you still feeling jazzed because you know now it's March so I feel like that beginning high of like starting projects sorry I'm not trying to show my awful finger that beginning high of starting projects I feel like has started to wear off but I'm still really excited with where things are going so let me know if you're doing this project down below I would love to also watch your videos let me know if you have any tips for any interesting ways that you think I could use this lip balm because I don't know it just doesn't seem like it has a place in my collection so I don't know like that and also like that setting powder I don't love it like it's fine but should I change my goal because I feel like uh, but at the same time I feel like if I do a usage goal once I hit it I'm gonna declutter it so I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye, guys.